Thanksgiving a week from tomorrow and sweet potato casserole, a Thanksgiving feast favorite for many. So how can you make it healthier, a lot healthier? Chef Kelly York from the Kitchen Hotline is here to show us how. And Kelly took this from 509 calories down to 209 and the fat from 21 grams down to 8 grams. So not bad. Yeah, well, let's get started right into the recipe right. um, since... Um, since we only have a little bit of time, we're going to first take your sweet potatoes and you're going to peel them and then steam them. Of course, this is a little cool now. That's why I'm holding it. But steam it in some water so they don't get waterlogged and they get nice and soft. Okay. And you're going to put that in your bowl. And then here's where we start cutting. We're using uh, stevia in the raw instead of uh, sugar. And we're not using the copious amounts that you normally use yeah. in a sweet potato casserole. Okay. Sweet potatoes are innately sweet to begin with. So just about a fourth a cup of stevia, then a fourth a cup of almond milk. And this is the vanilla flavored almond milk. Yeah, it's good. And then we put in two tablespoons of melted melt. And melt is a coconut oil, um, butter-flavored margarine. Or made Smart with Balance. Or Smart Balance. Like you that. could even use butter. Okay. And then we use um, ginger pumpkin pie spice and a little bit of salt. And you don't even have to use the salt. And one cup of egg beaters. You could also oh. use real eggs. Okay. You take your hand immersion blender or you can put it in a food processor and we're going to puree that. Okay. And I'm not going to take the time to sit there do and the do it deal. now. But this is what you get when you're okay. done. It's a nice pureed sweet potato. And we're going to put that into a casserole. And the recipe we have online will make 12. This is a half recipe. And you just smooth that out in your, in your casserole, and then we make a topping. Okay. Now, normally the topping is a lot of refined flour and butter and sugar. And what we're doing is cutting it with a whole grain. We're going to make the topping here. Okay. This is a fourth a cup of unbleached white whole wheat flour. And then a third a cup. Go ahead and stir. Yeah, it'd be great. Oats. third a cup oats. Two-thirds a cup of this is a Splenda brown sugar blend. Yeah, I've had that, the Splenda brown sugar. Yeah, it's not okay. bad. It's, yeah. it's some brown sugar, some Splenda. Yes, exactly. And then a half a cup of chopped pecans. You can use walnuts. You can use any of your favorite nuts. Or you could skip the nuts if you're allergic to them. And then we put in three t uh, tablespoons of balance. Smart you balance? Smart balance. Okay. Or, um, or the um, melt. Melt. Uh, let that get nice and crumbly. Go ahead and stir that. We're going to put that on top of the casserole. And you're going to bake it in the oven for about... 30 minutes until it just starts to puff and the top starts to get golden brown. And that is your sweet potato casserole. Pretty simple and very tasty. I've never we, put the egg-like mixture in there, so that's kind of interesting to me. That lightens it up a little yeah. bit. Gives you a real nice fluffy, um, uh, well, it gives not it the, so dense. Well, it gives the consistency of more like a, um, a pumpkin pie batter. When I do my pumpkin pies, I use a lot of egg whites and, yes. um, and milk. or Fabulous. You know, the, yeah. Makes it kind of a custard, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, makes it, I think, real nice and soft and round. Awesome. We're also online putting another recipe, which is a... Um, curried uh, and ricotta cilantro cheese cups with um, a little more gourmet. Yeah, so that if you want to go and do something a little different this year or you want to stay traditional, both are healthy. Go ahead and check it out online. And we'll have them both on our website at kwgn.com. And if you have questions about how to make your foods, Kitchen Hotline has a number you can call 877-773-8485 and uh, they'll talk to you between uh, noon and 4 p.m. today uh, ask, answering your questions about how to make your food more healthy. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Always appreciate you coming in. All right, it could be the world's most...